Hi, today we're going to be talking about the process for solving a non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation in the context of a heat transfer problem, specifically conduction in an extended surface. So we see up in the upper left a diagram showing a fin, or we call extended surface, in which we've, we've decided that the temperature is only a function of x, and that we can basically neglect the, any temperature distribution that's occurring in the directions normal to x, so in y or z. So we have a one-dimensional function, but as part of that function, we're losing heat as we proceed along the domain, right? In the positive x direction, we're losing heat. So we can represent this uh, equation, or this situation using the ordinary differential equation here, uh, which is shown on the upper right, which is to say the second derivative of temperature with respect to position minus h bar, which is the convection coefficient, times the perimeter, of the fin uh, in the direction normal to heat transfer, divided by the conductivity K and the cross-sectional area of the fin AC, which again is in the normal direction to heat transfer. That's times the temperature at any position X minus uh, the ambient temperature, which is denoted T infinity. So this ordinary differential e equation just falls out of the control volume analysis. And we want to point out here a couple things. First, this equation is second order. Right? Second order means we're taking the second derivative of temperature, um, and that's part of the equation. Um, it's linear, which means that the function is dependent on temperature and its derivatives. Uh, we don't see in here temperature squared. We don't see temperature times another uh, position or another variable, so it's linear. Um, and lastly, and kind of importantly, this is non-homogeneous. And non-homogeneous just means if we write this equation out a little differently and we say d squared t dx squared minus h bar perimeter over kac times temperature. Remember this temperature is temperature is a function of position. Uh, and then we bring over to the right hand side, right, negative minus negative to the right hand side. So we have negative h bar perimeter over kac times t infinity. So if we look at what's over here on the right-hand side, this, this term over here, we see a bunch of constants. Nothing here is related directly to temperature as a function of position or position itself. And so this is a constant. Um, in any case, this could be some function of x, right? In this case, it happens to be a constant. But if you have a situation where you have an ODE, the differential operator, uh, on temperature on the left hand side and that's equal to something other than zero right anything other than zero this becomes a non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation and the solution technique for uh, figuring this out is a little bit different right it's a little bit different than than if it were equal and so in order to solve this equation we need to figure out a way to find an expression for t Right, t is a function of x, we're going to find some function that when we take the second derivative of that function with respect to position, subtract from it h perimeter over kac times that function itself again, we end up with what's on the right hand side. Okay. Now, in order, in order to do that, we got to realize that uh, just because we find one function that satisfies that doesn't mean we found every possible function that satisfies it. So, so the trick to this technique is to realize that if we solve this, this ODE, uh, both in terms of finding a function that satisfies this in particular, this particular so solution, and we find the set of functions that satisfy the most general form of this equation, then we've done our job completely. Right? What does that mean? Well, that means that we need to solve two equations. We need to solve a particular solution, and we need to solve a homogeneous solution. So we break this problem up into two parts and we say d squared t, we're going to start with our particular solution, d squared t, p, tp divided by dx squared minus h bar perimeter over kac times tp is equal to our particular solution where we want to find a particular solution that satisfies this equation. So this is mi minus h bar perimeter over kac times t infinity, right? This looks exactly the same as the equation above it, except we're now denoting the fact that we're going to have a particular solution for this and a homogeneous solution. 
So the homogeneous solution is as follows. D squared T H will denote for the uh, homogeneous solution. Dx squared minus H bar perimeter, or KAC, T homogeneous. And a homogeneous solution has to equal zero, just by definition. Right? And if you think about it, this actually makes sense. What are we saying? We're saying that if we find a solution for the homogeneous equation, which by definition is zero on the right-hand side, and we find a solution to the particular, uh, the, the particular part of the equation, if we add those things together, then we're going to find the full solution. Right? Essentially, what we're doing is we're saying we're going to find a homogeneous solution that equals zero. And if you add something that equals zero to the equation above it, you're going to get that equation back. Okay. And another way to kind of define this out is to say T particular plus T homogeneous is equal to the full solution T. Right? And, and to prove to ourselves, again, that this is the case, and I think this is often the point of confu confusion, let's look at some differential operator. Right? A differential operator, we're going to call this D. So D is a process that we impose on some variable T in this case, or TP, TH. It's a process that we impose, impose that involves taking derivatives or, or uh, taking differential operations on that particular variable. So if we said D, TP, for example, by D in this case, what I mean is I'm going to take the second derivative of TP with respect to position X, and then from that subtract some constant times uh, TP itself. That's my differential operator. It's a series of actions I'm going to take on TP. So just remembering that D denotes this specific process in this case. What we're saying in this definition of the particular and homogeneous solution is the following, that D of TP plus D of TH we're going to add the, the two solutions together. That has to be equal to my function on the right-hand side, which could be a function of x. In this case, it's, it's a constant, right? Okay. Furthermore, that has to be equal to d, the same differential operator, for th plus tp together, right? So if this is true... Uh, what we're saying is this operator is also applied to dt. So from this it should be clear that if I take the differential operator of something, th plus tp, or I take the differential oper same differential procedure on t itself, then out of this I can claim t is equal to th plus tp. Okay, so this is kind of the proof uh, that you need to have in order to, to show that you can do this superposition. But all of this comes out of the fact that this is a, a linear equation, where we can do this these operations because t is linear. Okay, so then proceeding with, with the process, we need to solve the two equations that, that we identified here, uh, the particular solution and the homogeneous solution. So let's start with, with the homogeneous solution here. Okay. So how do, we, how do we solve the homogeneous solution? How do we identify the homogeneous solution? Well, we need to think about a, a function that, again, when we take the second derivative of that function and then subtract a constant times that function, we get zero. Or another way of saying that is, what function can I think of that has d squared th dx squared equal to some constant times th? I want a function for t of h where this is true. Uh, you might think, well, okay, I'm going to guess that this th is a constant. If I take uh, th to be a constant, take the second derivative of that, I get 0 right, is equal to some constant, which is, is not the case, Okay, unless we want the entire solution to be uh, trivial. Um, so we need to actually think of a function. Well, if you remember back to your, your calculus, um, assuming that you covered this, one of the things you would remember is there's a, a function exponential, right? exponential. So if you take the function exponential, and let's say we have some constant times position, 
You take the derivative, derivative of that function, you're going to get back that function again, exponential, times the derivative of whatever is inside. So we're going to sorry, we're going to end up with m times exponential. So a good uh, function to assume here for the homogeneous solution is the exponential. Okay, so let's actually do that. Take a, this function and say that t homogeneous is equal to some constant to, to help us scale if we need to times the exponential of another constant m times x. Right, and you'll kind of see where this, this mx comes from in a minute. So let's take the derivative. Let's try to let's, let's get what we need here in order to um, be able to, to actually plug everything into our ODE. And so dth uh, dx is equal to m times c exponential of mx. And we'll take another derivative because we have a second derivative, d squared th dx squared equals m squared c exp mx. Okay, now let's take, all, take, take these expressions and the, and the ones that we need and actually plug them in to our ODE, our homogeneous ODE. So what does that end up being? Well, if we plug that all in, we get the following. We get d squared t t h d x squared is m squared c e x p exponential of m x. And then we have to subtract off h bar perimeter over k a c times t, which we said now is c exponential of m x. And all of that has to equal zero. Okay, under which uh, circumstances does this actually work out, right? Okay, we have these c's, these go away. So where does this work out? Well, this actually works out if m squared is equal to h perimeter over kac. m squared equals h bar perimeter over k a c, which means m is equal to the square root of h bar times the perimeter over k a c. This constant here is something called the fin constant. Uh, this shows up again and again in your fin analysis. This is going to be everywhere, and it's, it's something that's uh, really useful for characterizing fins. Okay, so now we have our homogeneous solution. We say t h um, is equal to this exponential, but there's one complication, right? We have m squared, uh, and that's equal to what, what's in this uh, h perimeter over kac. So actually, m could be equal to plus or minus, right? m can be equal to plus or minus square root of h perimeter over kac because we're squaring it, the negative can go away. So actually what we have in our, our full solution for homogeneous is the following. We have our, our solution C times the exponential of M X. And then we have uh, a different C. So let's actually make this C1 and this one C2 exponential of minus M X, right? So this becomes the homogeneous solution to the ODE with two unknown constants. What we're left with then is solving for the particular solution, TP. Uh, TP is a, a little bit different. The, the procedure is a little different because we have um, a situation with uh, a constant on the right-hand side. Right, so we said uh, our ODE was d squared TP dx squared uh, minus h bar perimeter over k a c times t p equals minus t infinity times h bar perimeter over k a c. Okay, so now we need to find a solution for t where this is true. Okay, now again, you can kind of look at this actually and, and guess what the solution is going to be. What happens if we take the second derivative of a function, right? And then we have to find a constant times that function equals to some constant. In this case now, because we have a constant on the right-hand side, uh, we know we should probably guess that TP is a constant. 
Right? If, if that doesn't make sense to you, just kind of sit here and look at this for a second. So let's guess that TP is equal to a constant because we want the right-hand side ultimately to be a constant. Right? We need a function that gives us a constant. So what if we guess, guess a constant? Well, then we take d squared of a constant, dx squared, that goes to zero, minus h bar perimeter over kac times a constant is equal to minus t infinity h bar perimeter over kac. Okay, now look what happens. We cancel out this stuff, except for c is equal to t infinity. And here we found our particular solution. A particular solution to this problem is that the TP, which was our guess of C, is now equal to T infinity. So the final step then is to combine everything back together and we say T is equal to TH plus TP, which is equal to C1 exponential MX plus C2 exponential minus MX plus our particular solution T infinity. Okay, and this gives us the full solution to the non-homogeneous ODE uh, with our unknown constants present.